right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Keys Bagger. Thanks for hanging in there with us. We've had some, uh, some minor setbacks here and there. Um, I know it's been a while since I made a video, but we're going to be going over to St. John today, taking the, uh, taking the car over there, driving around, seeing some beaches and, and everything like that. So Jana is not going to be joining us today. She had to go back to the States and this is probably going to be one of the last videos for a little while because I got to send the car back to the States too. Um, Jana's got to stay there for, uh, for, for other reasons and she needs a car. So I'm going to be sending that back. Um, I'm going to try to do as many videos as I can, but we'll see what happens. So. Let's hit the road, get over to the ferry dock in Red Hook, and uh, get over to St. John. So we're on our way down to Red Hook, which is a pretty touristy area of the island. Um, that's where they have a lot of bars, a lot of restaurants and stuff. Um, it's, it's taken me about a month to get used to living down here. Um, to figure out the roads and stuff like that. Um, they are twisty, turny. You can't really put an address into uh, GPS down here. You really got to have somebody or you got to find a location and drop a pin and then go to it. Um, then I've even had the trouble of a couple times with the GPS thinking that I could walk to my house and my house is up a mountain. Um, so it was taking me up some weird back road and then thinking that I could just walk the extra little bit. Uh, that's not the way that it works. So I had to find the closest street, drop a pin, and then find my way in from there. Um, that's happened a couple times. Uh, the roads are pretty tight. And it, Jan and I had a, a pretty rough go of it when we first got here. Um, so I had a 2009 Chevrolet Duramax that was twin turbo uh, lifted up pretty high. It had some 36 inch tires. Uh, it was a pretty big truck. And since we knew that we were moving down here, um, we sold the truck because it was going to be too big for the island. Um, and good idea to do that because it, it is it is far too big. Even though they do have a lot of large vehicles down here, they've got water trucks that drive around. Uh, most of the water down here is all cistern, unless you live in the city, um, which means the water collects from the rain, goes underneath the house into a tank, and gets pumped out and used that that way. There's no water lines that go around the island. It's it's, it's a solid rock. Um, the area is still being rebuilt from the hurricanes. There's a lot of houses that are still under construction and stuff. Um, but back to the, the vehicles, they also have these safaris, which are usually uh, large one-ton pickup trucks with dual wheels. With dual wheels, and uh, they, they drive around to the different beaches when the cruise ships come in and out of here. Um, in fact, there's one right there. Um, but still, the truck was a little bit too big, so I sold it, and we bought this. Uh, it's a 2008 GMC Yukon Denali. Um, it, it's in really good condition, but I towed a trailer up to Georgia when I was up in Georgia for a little bit, and everything went fine. On my way back, I had a weird problem that I've never seen before, where the truck would run fine while driving, but as soon as you came to a stop, it would die. Um, then it took about 45 minutes for the computer to reset and it would restart again. Weird problem, but I got it home. I changed the uh, camshaft sensor, which was a little bit of a nightmare because they swell up in the timing cover um, and everything was fine. So I set the car off, had it shipped down here. The truck got here. Uh, the first day we picked it up, I drove it around for a little bit. Everything was fine. Jana was driving it up the mountain and it had the same problem, it died again. Uh, so we had it towed, and tow trucks are, are few and far between down here. They're, they're kind of hard to, to get, and a mechanic for an older vehicle is even harder. Um, so we finally found a mechanic. He was able to reset the cams, and uh, the truck has been running fine ever since. Um, we also had a small problem once we got the truck back to of the bushing for the shifter cable, it popped off on us. So I had to go under there and, and zip tie it. Uh, but the truck's gonna be going back 
not only because it's had the minor problems, but also because it's uh, Janet needs a car back home. So that's what we're going to do. Um, so we're heading down the mountain here. Uh, we're going to be going down to Red Hook, like I said. That's where the ferry dock is. There's a few different car ferries. There's a few different um, people ferries, uh, and, and they cost different different amounts. Um, I'm going to try to take the big red barge today, and it's they're all about the same price, fifty dollars round trip for the vehicle uh, to get over to St. John and to get back. So that's what we're going to be doing today, and we'll see when you get when we get there. Red Hook here. Uh, you can see all the cars on the side. These are the people that live in uh, St. Thomas and, and work in St. John. They don't want to pay for the car ferry. They just pay for a people ferry and they go over there. Uh, just up ahead is, is Red Hook Plaza in Vesa Bay is what it's called. This is going to be an experience for both of us because I've never done this before. So we'll see what happens. Hello, good morning. Chicken a coffee? Yes, sir. Four dollars, yeah? Then you purchase a ticket on the table. Thank you. I just put this up in the dash. Yeah, that's I stand corrected, it's uh, $54. You pay $4 to get in and then $50 when you get on the ferry. up barge got here unloaded this must be the 1115 barge we're just gonna have to remember what barge it is because there's a few different companies it's not the big red looks like they got his back in You can see it in the Hello, yes, 
snare trick. Inside tip, on the weekends, they don't take card. So make sure you bring cash with you, because once you get to St. John, they hold your ID, they write you out a ticket, which I have right here, and there is no ATM at the port. You have to drive into town, go up to a bank, go to a ATM, and only then you have to drive back and Go get your ID. You gotta park, you gotta walk up while the cars are driving. A little dangerous. I asked her if uh, if any of the other companies take card. She said on the weekends, the office isn't open. So, let's head over to our first stop. Don't know where that's gonna be yet, but let's head over there. All right, so I just ate at this uh, little sushi bar here in Mongoose Junction. Uh, it was recommended to me by a friend on the island. So it was really good. The salmon was really good. They, I didn't have any rolls, but it was still still really good. Uh, they have this kind of like Bloody Mary, they call it a, a tomato tea. Um, and it's it was really good as well. So I feel like snorkeling, so we're gonna go find a place to snorkel and, and, and get in the water. I just left Hawk's Nest Beach. They've got three little reefs that run from the shoreline out into the water. Um, there's, the beach isn't overcrowded. It's it's a beautiful beach. I didn't find any rinse stations, uh, so there's that. Um, but it, it is a beautiful beach. Uh, there's all kinds of, of sea life down here. I saw an octopus. There are sea urchins everywhere, so you just gotta be careful where you step. Um, so let's, let's find something else to do.
So I jumped on the road, just kept driving until the road ended. And I ended up here at the Annaberg Sugar Plantation. Uh, there's a set of wood staircase and walkway, you can see, that leads from the parking area up to the entrance. So I'll see you when I get up there. Sugar plantation. Uh, it's, it's all, it looks almost like a town, but it's, I think it was just a, a sugar factory. You can see the windmill behind me, right up there. It's pretty windy up here. The whole area. And then right across the, what we call the Narrows, is Eos Van Dyke. So I'm going to flip the camera around here. is just further up. Can't really see it. You can see the remnants of another uh, windmill on top of the, the mountain on the other side over there. getting pretty bad at this I apologize I forgot to film an outro here's some pictures of the windmill bar up top in st. John and the beautiful sunset that you get from there uh, I'll end it off with the ferry leaving from st. John heading back towards st. Thomas you can see the gate closing there and the dusk in the distance with all the islands so thanks again for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it um, like I said, I'm going to try to get out as many videos as I possibly can going forward from here. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.